Well, it's Tuesday, and we are going to do the Week 6 Power Rankings. Just to put this disclaimer out there, I really enjoy this. I really, I, It's not like I hang on what these guys say. I just like to know what is being said about my team, what certain uh, entities think about them. I do look at the other Power Rankings, but as far as video content is concerned, I go by the NFL just because it's the NFL. So it's just like, you know, why not? But does it matter? It doesn't. It doesn't. It just goes with like that respectability to see how far are we kind of moving the needle with with this entity or that entity. So not really a big deal. I don't hang on these guys' words. I see what they have to say, give my opinion, and go from there. Now, I have not looked at these, and I would assume that the 49ers are still running away with everything at the number one spot. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's look at the Week 6 Power Rankings for the 2023 NFL season. Number one is going to be the San Francisco 49ers. No surprise there. Have not moved. These guys are ridiculous. Winning is what they do. Brock Purdy's only loss came in a game in which he was hurt. No surprise there. Would have to say number two would probably be Kansas City or Philly. Number two, the Philadelphia Eagles. Okay, so I'll pick number three is Kansas City. Okay, now number four was the Beals, I think. But this time, I'm going to say number four is Miami. Miami's number four, up two spots. I'm going to say that with Dallas losing, that the Detroit Lions have to be number five. Number five, the Detroit Lions. Number five, here's what they had to say. The Lions dropped 42 on the Panthers without Amara St. Brown or Jameer Gibbs and others which only enhan enhances what they've accomplished through week five. Even though it came against winless Carolina, see, they always got to take something from us. This victory shouldn't be overlooked. Good teams take care of business against lesser teams. Doing so convincingly, despite the absence of key contributors on both sides of the ball, is the hallmark of a great team. It's okay to say it out loud. The Lions are now in that category. They've won 12 of 15 games dating back to 2022, triumphing at Arrowhead and Lambeau this season and becoming the clear-cut NFC North faves. Even with defensive injuries mounting, poor Emmanuel Mosley is the latest, having suffered a second torn ACL in as many years. The Lions have a great chance to end a 32-year playoff win drought. Well, I'm here to tell you that it's that's going to happen. Not only are we going to win the NFC North, we're going to host our first playoff game. I'm even thinking right now, I mean, we got a lot of season left. There are 12 games for the Detroit Lions to still play. But I looked at, I got, I saw a tweet yesterday. Shout out to my guy, Mr. Poole. Saw a tweet yesterday that the Lions, as of right now, going into week six, have the second to last easiest schedule. Their strength of schedule is like 31, which is insane. We've been tied for fifth. We've been at seventh, but it's like tied. We're, we're 31, like, but that can all change. But we got a lot of bad teams on the menu. We got the Bears twice. We've got the Vikings twice. And now Justin Jefferson's on IR. Does he want to come back? Now, he'll be back long before we play the Vikings if he does indeed want to play. Um, the Bears, we see what they can do, streaky, but still terrible, right? So there's a good chance that the Detroit Lions could, we're talking about all we need is to keep doing what we're doing. We, we would be, if you put 12 out of 15 games, 12, 12 wins out of 15, that's, that's 12 and three. Why can't we have a 12 and three season, right? Right now, we're a third of the way there. If we lost one game every month over October, November, December, that will put us at 12 and three heading into the last two games of the year, those first two Sundays in January. So I'm okay with this. Finishing out the top 10, the Buffalo Bills at six. Oh, the Detroit Lions came up two spots, by the way. The Jacksonville Jag Jaguars at seven, the Dallas Cowboys at eight, how the mighty have fallen. The Seattle Seahawks at nine, they had the week off, and the Baltimore Ravens at 10. I think that that is a beatable game, but. First, we have to play the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on the road. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below on the week six power rankings. What do you think? You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other.